Welcome back to another RMS Support Center tutorial video. Today's topic will cover how to create a submittal item. In order to get started, we're going to go ahead and enter into our contract. On the contract menu, we're going to click on the tab that says Submittals, and we're going to click on the blue tile that says Submittal Register. We have a data grid down below that lists all the submittal items for this particular register. If your contract is set up to have multiple registers, you can change your register by clicking on this blue tile. To the top right, we have a quick status view of our submittal items in our register. We can see the outstanding items, the items in review, and the completed items. To add a submittal item, click the Add button. Now select the Specification section for your submittal item, then click Next. Here we have two input fields for the submittal item number and the extension. These fields are used to uniquely identify the submittal. RMS automatically generates the next submittal item number. However, the user can still change the number when creating a submittal item. The item number extension can be used to differentiate different parts of the submittal item. Once when you've created your submittal item and have selected an item number and an item number extension, click Finish. Now that we have added our submittal items, you can begin filling out the appropriate information for your submittal. We can set the activity for our submittal by clicking on the blue tile, then selecting the required activity for your submittal. You can also enter the paragraph and drawing number using the input text boxes. The start date is based upon the required activity that you have chosen for your submittal item. You can also edit and add lag or lead days. You can change the procurement period. Down at the bottom, we can select our classification using the drop down box and selecting the appropriate classification for our submittal item. Lastly, you can set the primary contractor reviewer and submittal type by clicking on the blue tiles, then selecting the appropriate primary contractor reviewer and submittal type. There's also a very neat feature that RMS has that allows you to edit submittal items very quickly. This can be done by clicking on the grid edit button on the button bar. This will allow a large data grid to appear. Here we can see all the submittal items for our contract within this particular register. We can now edit submittal items information on the fly without having to open up each submittal item. To add information, simply double click on the column that you want to edit, then enter in the appropriate information. If at any time you want to cancel your changes, simply click on the Cancel Changes button at the top. After you've completed filling out all the information on your submittal items, click Save Changes or click the back arrow to commit all data.